Oh my lord, it is the league that means nothing yet again here on Go Again Gaming. I am Tommy Fresh, and that is Mo Bosley dancing like a fiend over there. And we are going to commentate this match. And it is going to be a fun one, folks. Um, we have Olympia, played by Smithel of Smithel Gaming, who runs a wonderful commoner Discord. And we also have Fi, run by Anthony Zychella. And this is going to be interesting one. I don't know how the Olympia versus Fi match goes. What are your thoughts, Mo? Um, so I think it's going to be a lot of blocking from Olympia. Uh, no surprises there. Uh, they will try to get those weapon swings in there, try to put some pressure on, but not a ton of on hits. Uh, so Fi will kind of have as much room as they want to try to put the pressure on and end the game quickly. The longer the game goes, the more it favors Olympia. Mm -hmm. So Olympia is going to try to set up these big plays, set up these huge, you know, kind of combo-y-ish turns, get gold, take advantage of the gold, whereas Fi is going to go, Burt. Yeah, Burt. I mean, <laughs> we will see how it goes. I mean, we don't we don't know exactly what kind of Olympia that uh, Smithel's on here. It could be Decimator uh, Great Axe. It could be. Um, which <laughs> is a what much more defensive strategy already. So we'll see. Let's actually just get right into the gameplay. You know, what was that? What if this is Fatigue Fi? We saw it a little bit. What if the Fatigue Fi game plan is back out there and we're just getting crazy? Well, I mean, that this would proved to be an awesome matchup then i would love to see that i think it would be really cool regardless but let's let's hop right into the gameplay and make as do so yay Woo! i'm ready let's do it here we are smithel here with his so smash with like always tree. look at the play mats smash with big tree is a store out of pittsburgh pennsylvania folks it is, I knew you had me covered there. It is run by uh, a wonderful person named John. It is a great store. Anthony over there rocking the Arc Knight Shard mat from, I believe that was Pro Tour France. Yes, that was uh, Pro Tour Lille. And it is going to be quite interesting to see what Smithel presents here. I. I think we know what Fi is really doing. You know, you, you mentioned that maybe we have a bit of a chance of some kind of fatigue Fi. I doubt it. Let's be honest. Never know. It's a league that means nothing, right? These players can get a little bit crazy. That's true. We could see like Edge of Autumn or something Ooh. like that. It, just to uh, recap everybody, Olympia prized fighter. The first time each of your attacks wins a wager, create a gold token. So we so might see some, hero. I mean, on hits, depending on how wager heavy Smithle decides to go, right? Because then, then Fi's really kind of poised with a really tough question of, do I try to block these things? We do see the Ember mm -hmm. Blade, though. Ember Blade. Is that Cold Foil Ember Blade and the full art Cold Foil Phoenix? It looks like it, my friend. These players are just pimping out their decks, making it look beautiful. If it's not for the swag, it's not for the league that means nothing. <laughs> I was really hoping for a rhyme there. I believed in you. <laughs> oh, it is Decimator Axe. You were right. This is this is some real spice. Olympia really likes this axe because you can kind of throw an up the ante on the axe, make it really hard for them to block, and just get so much value off of wow. those wager hits. So, pop quiz, Tommy. I know the answer, but do you? What is the name of Smithel's helmet, and what does it do? It is the Galea, and it blocks for two. I forget what the first name is. Uh, it's the Galea. It blocks for two with temper, and it has an activated ability. As a, an attack reaction, you can pay one, target, weapon attack, wagers a gold. There you go. Look at Tommy knowing all the cards. Thank you for the pop quiz that you definitely knew the answer to, Mo Bogsley. And certainly, knew. certainly wasn't trying to figure out what it does. But, you know, this is why I love I love working with you. You know, we've been working together for, what has it been? Weeks years? now. Weeks. Oh, I oh was going to say years. Felt like years. 
I can't de- listen. I'd be drinking a lot more if it was yours, Tommy. Sure, sure. I mean, <laughs> we we will see how this goes. I'm 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 excited. This is gonna be a fun match. This is my <laughs> first Olympia gameplay that I have seen, so I am super excited for this one. Oh, my friend. We have no a- wager. Look at that editing. A oh, hitch ahead great. with no wager. Thank you, Az, for the wonderful editing. This makes our lives so much easier. But you didn't even have to put that there because this league means nothing. And we're such great commentators that we need no help. And here we go. Coming with a decimator great axe for seven. Now, seven's tough seven. to block with the, the lot of the two blocks that uh, buy us. Yeah, and no blocks. If they're playing any Phoenix Flames in the main board, they might draw them. And that's just no blocks, right? So... I love exactly what we're seeing right now, right out the gates. So I'm not a huge fan of Axe Story, but Axe Olympia looks sweet already. I'm already in for this deck. You know, it's kind of cool because you can kind of build this deck to just, you just want to win one or two wagers because then you have your gold and then you can, you can do your cash in nonsense. Mm-hmm. So it looks like a full block. Uh, interesting to see. We do have an E strike, double strike, and a diplomacy, and a hedgehog. Just saying, you know what? I'm gonna cycle my hand. I don't want any of these cards. Give me a new hand. Totally fair. You know, you you don't want any clunkers against such a really good defensive deck because then they can kind of take advantage of you. Let's see what Anthony can do here. Four fresh cards. With the matching five sleeves, may I say, spreading flames. So all their future dramatic dr- draconic attacks will have plus one while their base is less than or equal to number of dr- draconic chain links you control. That was a mouthful. You got there. Thank you. I'm spreading, trying my best here. Spreading flames is, is a, a bit of a staple in this deck. And I don't think that Smithel really cares about that because... On only a four card hand, it's going to be really tough. So my really... strike does not have go again currently. Needs to hit. So Coming Anthony is saying, "Give me two cards, or it's going to have go again, or just one sink below." Never mind. Smithel does not care at all. Much like the honey badger, Smithel is really just having a grand old time here. Yeah, two cards for two cards. Fatigue is basically equal, leaning a little bit towards Smith's side currently. I don't know if you can fatigue a five, but we're going to find out. I think you probably could. I think this deck definitely can. But we will see. I mean, this, this could go in a direction that we don't expect it to go. Because Smith could just start bashing for four. That axe only needs a hit. 10 times. That's 40 damage. <laughs> 10 times 4 is 40. Look at look at you go, Tommy. Showing you can still do math. I'm a, I'm a math guy. And look at that. One. No block. One down. <laughs> Get the counter out there. Edit in a little one on the screen. Anthony says, I don't care either. Because guess what? I'm going to play Rise, Rise of the, of the Ashes. Ashes. So you mean his next draconic or ninja attack plus three, making the brand for Cinderclaw five. And five is a clunky number. One defense reaction does not cover it, so it is demanding two cards or damage will be taken. Or the boots. Boots are coming in early here with another sink below white border. Look at that kind of swag from Smithle. Send a message. I love it. I think he's currently debating if he wants to sink or not. Never mind. It is just a Phoenix Flame for one. But for two, because of the arms, cannot be prevented. But that's oh. all you got, Smithle says. Is that all you got? Oh, I'm eating here. Holy smokes. Look at that. That is going to be such a brutal, brutal block here for Anthony to kind of face down. Because Smithle's just going to replace that card. So 
Smithel thinking if he wants to block the Syrian Ember Light or not. Could just take the three and try to set a big turn. I'm not sure yet if Slopia is full fatigue or wants to kind of race. Smithel will take the three there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the, the felling swing should be on the bottom of the deck. That's his pitch deck from last turn. But here we have a Lava Burst for five. What a, a classic finisher here. Another sink And below. he's got another sink. Is that all three sinks? That's all three sinks. Wow. Smithel is now sunk, I will say. <laughs> One counter on those bolters. Super efficient. Draws a card off of that's all you got. Gets that felling swing underneath. Is this just me another axe swing or do we have some spice to come with it? Should be two cards in hand. Looks at the arsenal card. Decides an axe swing is just good enough here. Can you blame him? That axe is so powerful. And guess what? Anthony doesn't care. No. Anthony says four. That's cute. My turn again. <laughs> Here's four. Coming in, mounting Both anger. Both players. Swinging four back and forth. More like back and four. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, folks. Four, 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 four. But if this hits, it does have relevant on uh, on hit text, which will give his next attack plus one if its base power is less than the chain link he controls. So Smith though, will just block that out for four, using his armor, trying to keep the cards in his hand. You know, here comes rising resentment for three. Giving the Galia there is not the worst thing. I mean, you do probably want to pop it. It might be more relevant to just block with it twice. But we will see. There's another Mounting Anger. That is a tough one to stare down, though. Yeah, 4-3-4. Four, four. Going wide and going big. Smith with three cards in hand still. And this can one, always just take this and set up a big return. This one can give a bonus to... Pretty much anything else that can What is that card playing. blocking? That is the commanding something. It's called commanding something. It gives the next uh, attack, warrior attack maybe, plus three. And if it's defended by attack action card, destroy their arsenal. Here's a Phoenix Flame for two. And those arms are getting value this game. Smith will just taking it down to 35. And now the mask Popping is the helmet. Wow. Now 33, actually. So now this might be a lava burst, or it might be a... A tenacity, perhaps? Ooh, tenacity would be kind of cool. That's plus four currently. It is a tenacity. It is tenacity. So zero for six currently... Unless that Arsenal card comes in. I'm at zero for seven. Because of the two helmets blocking. Fi is showing what Fi does best. Sending big chain links of big numbers. Certainly. And the... I think if I'm if I'm Smithel, I'm kind of happy to see the mask of pouncing links go this early. But still, yeah, that think, is a big turn. Both players are happy about that because Tenacity is out of the deck for Anthony. He got a lot of value off of it. Like you said, Smithel is happy to just see that card gone. Tenacity adds such a nice little, I guess you can call it modality to your Mask of Pouncing Links because it makes the decisions on blocking on those big go-wide turns for your opponent so much harder. Here comes yeah, the, it's such a toolbox now. It really is. And here's the Great Axe again. Classic. Anthony thinking about blocking it, but might just not. He says, yeah, I'll take four ten times. 
with, with your three blocks only blocking for two, blocking the axe just never feels great. And you're kind of like, this card can get more value than two block. Yeah. And you kind of get stuck in that trap. It was the rising resentment. Rising resentment coming out for Anthony on hit. You can banish a card and it costs red less to play. However, it's just going to get blocked, so no on hits matter. It is a redhead jab, followed by a Siri Ember Blade. Dang, Ember Blade not really presenting anything dangerous here, but you know what? Smithle wants to just keep some health. Yeah, because if you look at life totals, the axe for four is keeping the life very equal. Absolutely. I mean, and once they get down to low life, blocking that axe out every turn requires two cards. Now, I'm interested but, to know what's in Smithel's arsenal because that's been hanging out there for a while, but the E strike for seven is a brutal attack. Yeah, I don't think it's a defense reaction at this point of the game. So, ooh, a Steel Blade Shunt coming out. Ooh, off the two Using the two net counter. Value. Man. 27 to 28. Smithel is really playing this value game well. And uh, guess what, Tommy? Another <laughs> axe. I mean, this this deck is so cool. I really love what Olympia is doing. And the fact that at any point, <laughs> an up the ante can just pop out of nowhere, I think that's what has to be in Arsenal. Unless it's like a cash-in or something like that. Yeah, it could be a cash-in trying to set up for that late game. And maybe they're just up to antis haven't shown up yet. And Smith was like, this math is good math. So I will send for and take around for every turn. And both players are like, eh, whatever. From going from the last two games, there wasn't a ton of blocking and a lot of racing to this game is huge. Absolutely. Unless everybody watched those in a different order. Then this yeah, is if crazy. As uploads this awkward, then wow, this is just a sick game. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Another rise from the ashes, such a powerful card in the Phi deck. Grab your Phoenix Flame, attack for three. It just sending the Phoenix chain. Flame first is a little bit strange. It means there's probably not a ton of Draconic actions in the hand of Anthony, and he's really just trying to get a chain starter so the Emblade is online. This seems like a pretty easy block three for Smithel, unless he's thinking that there's something more dangerous coming down the road from Anthony. Yes, Smithel's been blocking pretty quickly so far, but he did hesitate on this attack. So maybe he just has a big pop-off turn that he's debating if it's worth sending or not. Comes the blade. I mean, he could take three this turn still be at parody on life, which is yeah, pretty but powerful. Smith doesn't want parody. He wants to be winning in life. He says, you know what? I'm going to keep blocking and try to edge out the value and a snatch for three because it's blue, but it gets plus one from the arms. Snatch for three. Now what can Anthony possibly have that pushes that to four? It could be a Razor Reflex. It could just be Snapdragon Scalers that just okay. wants to get going on off of it. Interesting. So Anthony says for three, Smithle says no blocks, pops Have a burst. Snapdragon Scalers, and then he hits the shunt on the snatch. And not yeah, to so the... that shunt feels bad, but not too bad, right? Because you prevented the card draw. Yeah. But I do believe this means Smithle has no cards left. So there will be no axe. It will just be Pasco. Very interesting. You really got to wonder what's in that arsenal. It's got to be a big payoff card. Yeah, or just something he didn't want in his hand, right? It could be a card that he knew he couldn't keep in his hand and threw down there, but it probably is a very powerful card. Spreading Flames back again. Tommy, I will let you read it this time because I messed up so badly. Oh, last Draconic time. Action. Or no, I, I already messed up. <laughs> draconic Attacks you control have plus one while their base attack is less than the number of Draconic Chains. And it's already off my screen. And I don't care anymore because this league <laughs> means nothing. Here's Searing Ember Blade. 
yet again, blocking with a cleave. Oh my God. Anthony's just slapping these cards down. Smith bl- th- slamming his blocks down. Oh, another another block. Now here is the tough part. What does Smith do you, here? You're going to leak damage eventually, verse five. It's not a deck that you can block out very well because of how big these chain links get. This is getting plus one from the spreading flames, not the arms. Uh, so the next attack that with base two or less will get plus two. One from the spreading flames, one from the arms. Oof. Uh, this Ronin, Ronin Renegade gets plus one from the spreading flames as well. Spreading Flames has gone plus two damage so far, this chain link. If that's a salt of wound in the arsenal, oh, that could be pretty That would brutal. be huge. But he's only taken two hits. Honestly, Tenacity here would be also be good. Oh, man. another Tenacity would be so brutal. It is oh, a Snatch is still good, though. Oof. Sets up Arsenal for next turn. Leaks for damage. It is 15 to 24, and this game is slowly getting away from Smithle. He needs to get a good hand fast. Seeing those sink blows so early makes these later hands so tough to really deal with these large chain links. Yeah, it feels good to draw them early, but then it also feels bad because of what you just said. It's a weird damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Exactly. Now you're in a position where you're kind of hoping that Anthony clunks up and, you know, starting with a brand with Cinderclaw is not ideal. Yeah, it's only for one. So if you're Smithly, you're like, this is great. I'll take the one. Show me what's next. But I believe that did come from Arsenal. So Anthony is still right, rocking so what with is the, the blind draw. The, the full grip here. There is another brand with Cinderclaw. This time it's the red one. This is the good one. <laughs> okay, Oasis Respite. You know, I wonder if you, you'd almost want to leave that for something a little bit bigger. However, if... If you pitch a blue and you have another Oasis Respite rocking around there, it doesn't feel too bad. And there's a few defense reactions that Smithville could have to really take advantage of this. And the life gain does matter there, but Flame Call Awakening is an interesting one. This will be for three this time, and we'll send another Phoenix Flame, which will buff the next Phoenix Flame up. So this card will get so much value this turn. And he's taking the three there. Two cards left in Smithle's hand. Maybe he doesn't want to get beat by a snatch again because it felt so bad last time. Two more damage coming in. Oh, that all you got? That's all you got, Smithle says? That's a good one to have. Here you go. Another Phoenix Flame that we knew he had. Just for one. Probably going to take that one. Not really that scared. And I think Anthony said Arsenal, so Smith will have two cards going into his turn. What will those two cards do, though? Let's see. Tunic to three, I believe. And just the axe. Not, nothing spicy yet. Could be attack reactions, though, but I do believe all the wager cards are uh, combat actions, unfortunately. No, up the ante is an attack reaction. And right, so, so, be is, so is the Galia. But nope, looks like four is okay for Smithle. And Anthony's already slamming his cards down. He's like, I got places to be. Let's make this fast. <laughs> he certainly does. I mean, this is, if, if you're playing Fi, you want to go fast. And that's, that's just what it is. And almost you get frustrated when you play into a deck like Decimator Olympia that's like, no, I don't want to go fast. No, we just like take our time, talk about our day, maybe get some food after this, you know. Coming with the Ember Blade for three more damage. Here comes a shunt, perhaps. Yep, dealing yep. damage. You called it. Look at that damn! Look at that life getting down there again. 
He comes to Phoenix Flame for a measly one. You know, this one doesn't matter much early game. I guess it is two because of the arms. But these Phoenix Flames, they don't look scary. It's just one damage, you say. And then you get to, like, two. You get to one. And they just kill you. So you do need to respect that these Phoenix Flames are in the early game. Here's a double block. Getting rid of the Galea. And... And I'm the, I think that's the third Lava Burst so far. That is the third Lava Burst. For another five. With no go again, if I'm not mistaken here. Unless there no, is... No, but this does scream like a... Oh. Yep, Razor Reflex. But there's no cards left. So there's really nothing else to do besides lick the damage. Very interesting. Smith will down the sixth, though. So I think Anthony just said, you know what? Damage is more important. This Salt the Rune has to go. Let's just get in there. It's a counter on Tunic. Sends the axe. I love it. Smithel is like, this axe is good value. I'm just going to keep sending it. Anthony said, I'm still not blocking it, dude. I don't care. It's still not over for Smithel Ooh. here. Anthony activates Phi on Smithel's turn, which is great for Smithel, right? That means your hand's probably not that great if you need the Phoenix Flame back that fast. Well, he does have a second Phoenix Flame, correct? Uh, yes, there is a second Phoenix Flame in the grave. That is correct. There's another block. Block, here. block. Oh, blocking with Shatter. I love that card. His Phoenix Flame number one coming in for a little one, like I said. Not that scary. That's all you got, says Smithel. He's not scared. Oh, man, I would have liked to have saved that for the second Phoenix Flame, to be honest, but... Maybe Smithville forgot about the second one, or he's got something else sneaky up his sleeve. Perhaps. Or maybe Smithville just thinks the one life doesn't matter, and he's just flexing. I mean, Smithville is a strong guy. This is guy. the league that doesn't matter. That's true. I've I've, I've hung out with Smithville. He's a he's a he's a flexomatic guy. He just likes to flex. So maybe that's what we're seeing right now. Yeah, maybe that could be it. Yeah, Smith looks like, I'll go to four. I don't care. One extra damage? Oh, Anthony just says, pass turn. I don't have anything else. I'm just going to arsenal. And that is a hard thing with these defense reactions. If you hold it for too long, your opponent could just do that, and you get blown out. You yeah. don't want to carry those over unless you have the arsenal space, which Smithle hasn't had. But there's two cards in hand, one in arsenal. Show us something spicy here. I'm begging you. No, don't just swing the axe again. <laughs> Come on, Smithel. There it is. Oh, oh no, wait, here we go. Here we go. Up the ante. Woo! All right. Up the ante. How many modes? Send them all. Uh, so he's got three floating. So probably he's going to do all, all modes. Yeah. So, so going to get your agility, wager gold, wager vigor, maybe. Yep. And then it gets plus Y for the amount of times it was. Uh, wagered so yeah, it's coming so in plus for seven. three or he's coming in for know, seven he goes to eight and smithles is gonna get a ton of value off this two gold so and if smithle can live somehow i think he can turn this game around with anthony to eight he just needs to get back on at his turn very very tough being at four all the block ex except the tunic has been used. Sorry. And Tunic, unfortunately, at two, it cannot be used for an Oasis or anything else. So this Mountain Anger for four says, show me a defense reaction, and Smithel shows him the fate for scene. Very timely. You almost start to think, well, were they even in the deck? <laughs> yeah, and now, these sneaky blues, Brad with Cinderclaw, it's just one. It's just one, you say. You're at four, what's the big deal? The He's big already... deal is you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, we've already <laughs> seen the Razor Reflex. One of them. How many How many Razors are you playing? Are you trying to play one Razor Reflex and mind game your opponent? And you go, hey, I've shown you one. You have to play around them. Or are you playing the full suite? Ugh. Smith will respecting it. Blocking for three. Very tough. Here comes an actual three damage, though. And now you, it's so tough because now 
You have to take this too. Yeah, you need to send your Decimator Axe and just hope Anthony has a bad turn. Hope he doesn't have a follow up. Hope it's not double strike. That is the worst card to see here. Oh. Gives up two neck. Give up two comes double strike again. Probably goes to one here because you can't just die to that last card in hand. So the problem is you're just dead to everything else. Oh, he took. He goes to one. And what's the last card, Anthony? Show us the last card. It's an arsenal. He's just oh, going to arsenal. Man. What a bluff. Holy smokes. So now, is that a defense reaction that Smith was going to save? Or so is he's, he just going to send Axe again? Well, so he, the kind of cool thing is he has two gold. He has one and resource. Vigor, correct? Yeah, yeah. One resource. So he could. Oh, he's just going to arsenal. He could arsenal pass. pass. Wow. <laughs> That's very tough. So, and he, Anthony did pick up the Phoenix Flame. It is very hard, quick to see. Just wanted to point that out there. Brand was in claw yellow, coming for two. That would kill him. Easy block by Smithle. He says, "Yep, I'm not going to die here." <laughs> there yeah. comes Ember Blade. Easy block again. Another C and C. There they are. Do we have the place that a C and C's here? Oh, you hate to see that. Wait, is there not another Phoenix Flame in the deck? Oh, he's only playing two. Okay, here comes Phoenix Flame. Or two. Now you're at one. Yep, and now he's got another Phoenix Flame in hand that you know of. Well, here comes another Phoenix Flame. There's a fate for scene. And, and that's oh! It. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. But let's take a second. Look at Anthony's deck size. There's not many cards left there. No, there there's really maybe isn't. twenty cards, fifteen. You know, if 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 Smithle had just played around some of those those twos rather than ones, I think that we could have seen a little bit closer of a game here. Although Smithle really did play a valiant match, but you know, Fi is very powerful. Fi is very powerful, yeah. and to that not was fun. I'm ex yeah, very fun. Now, <laughs> all right. All right, well, there you have it. Fi wins yet again in the league that means nothing. And, you know, Smithle did a great job, but Olympia might not be there yet. Olympia is a super cool hero, but still needs a little work. What did you think of the match? Yeah, so I, I feel like that match is how most fatigue games against Fi goes. You get him low, you get him out of deck almost, but Fi has so much reach. That, that one damage attacks you take early, like, oh, it's just one. It's just one. I mean, you say that 40 times and you're dead, right? Like, if I can poke you, poke you, poke you, poke you, until you're dead. I really do want to see more of Olympia. I wonder what other matchups look like, if there's more wagering, if there's more mind games like that, or if this is just a straight fatigue deck. And for Fi, listen, Fi is sweet, right? Like, Fi is so consistent. It does what it wants to do. But that was a Fi game with no Art of Wars. Yeah. Which Very is true. interesting. Like, I'm not sure if they cut out of wars or they just didn't draw them. Um, but I really thought Smithle almost sneaked out a win there. And I was like, oh, man, he's at eight. Like, that's so close. It's very close, very close. And, and you know, you almost wonder if, if he had smacked that up the ante a little bit earlier on the turn rather than, than holding it, you might have been able to arsenal a... a a D react a lot earlier or whatever, and and still been able to kind of filter through your deck with those gold. So very fun. This has been the league that means nothing. Thank you for watching on Go Again Gaming. Thank you, as I am still Tommy Fresh. You can find me on Twitter at Fresh Buds Pod. Check out Fresh and Buds Great Podcasts. Have great guests like As, like Mo Bogsley and Mo. Where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Mo Bogsley. I tweet way more than I should. You can find me on YouTube at Mabogsley. And you can find me all over the internet just at Mabogsley. Search it up. Sounds good. Thank you so much, As. Thank you for having us. Goodbye. <laughs>